Uh, when Mick left Princeton a little early to start Zinch.com in 2006, he had no idea how successful that venture would be. He's recently chosen to be, uh, he was chosen to be part of the top 40 professionals under 40 by a major Utah magazine. He's an avid Twitter user. He loves technology, sports, and his wife who is here. Where At Rachel you? Hagan. <laughs> cool, so I have a couple bullet points here I want to talk about. So I'm Mick Hagan, as they said, I started Zinch.com. Um, so I'm not like a professional SEO expert or SEM or write books like a bunch of these guys. I'm just, I do it for fun, you know, for personal just enjoyment and then also just trying to represent Zinch, uh, trying to spread the brand, find new clients, you know, what, basically real, real fast what Zinch does. We help high school students get into college, so we make that connection. And so there's a lot of high school students on Twitter and there's also a lot of higher ed, you know, people in ac academia also on Twitter. And so we use Zinch, or sorry, we use Twitter. It's a great place where we can find new clients. Just the other day, just, well, there's been a lot of buzz on Twitter about Zinch recently among, you know, the higher ed people. And so whenever, one of the cool things about Twitter is you can RSS feed, you know, certain keywords. And so whenever someone says Zinch, we're, you know, jumping right on that, you know, starting a conversation with them and seeing, you know, hey, can we answer any of your questions? You know, what do you think about Zinch? So one person said, man, Zinch is really slow. We jumped right on top of that. Hey, can you tell us what pages are slow? What, you know, we're all about trying to help the user experience for the students. And so it's a great place, you know, if you're a business, uh, it's a great place to connect with clients, connect with customers, and, you know, and really help them out. A perfect example is a friend of mine in Silicon Valley his internet was busted over a weekend. It was just, you know, it just wasn't working very well. Well, Comcast for a really long time has been known for their horrible customer service. They're finally starting to wake up and Comcast has a Twitter account. Well, this Comcast, you know, person on the other end with the Twitter account was able to help this guy immediately. And, you know, this guy's, you know, very influential, has a blog and that's spread, you know, among, uh, among Twitter and just the blogosphere. So it's a great place to, uh, you know, provide good customer service to your customers. Um, man, it, Twitter is just an awesome source of news. You know, Twitter was the first place that I heard about the Mumbai terrorist attacks. The first place you hear about Michael Phelps winning the gold medal, even before it was on TV. And CNN got a lot of flack for that. It was funny because obviously it's a couple hours lag time before prime time. And CNN's breaking the news and a bunch of people are like, what, you've ruined it for me. But I mean, it, it is a great source of news. The earthquake in California a couple weeks, uh, months ago, it's just awesome. Um, one, one, you know, and this is just kind of as a personal Twitterer, um, it's important that you find, a, you, you find a good mix of answering that question, what are you doing? And then also just kind of linking to your blog posts, linking to th interesting things you find online. There are, like he said, Guy Kawasaki, man, that guy just spits out links after link after link after link. And there are a lot of Twitters like that. It's very interesting sometimes to, to answer that question, what are you doing? Now obviously it's finding a good balance. You don't need to say you're eating Cheerios or you're doing this, that, whatever. It, it's, but it's finding a good balance because it is interesting whether you believe it or not, people do, you know, can find your life very interesting. I do, you know, just with all these reality TV shows, Truman Show, Ed TV, you know, all of these different ways nowadays in which people can get a glimpse of your personal life. It's, you know, people are more interested than you think about what you're doing. So um, keep that in mind. And I, this year, when for our anniversary, my wife's gonna, she already hates me probably because of that anniversary date. I was microblogging it, I was Twittering it, and it was a lot of fun. People after that were like, that was a sweet anniversary date you did, man, that was cool, keep us. So people find that stuff interesting, and sometimes I'll pretend to go to the bathroom just so I can tweet. And so my wife's probably gonna be, now she's gonna know when I need to go to the bathroom, what's going on, because she gets so bugged by it. But, uh, but it's a great distribution channel, you know, Barack Obama, Shaquille O'Neal, Al Gore, all these, it, uh, you know, well-known, influential people. It's just a wonderful distribution channel. And when you connect it to your Facebook, you know, that opens it up even more. I only have a couple hundred Twitter followers, <laughs> but on Facebook I have a couple thousand. And so it's a huge difference. It opens up just kind of your distribution channels. And uh, have fun with it. My mom's on Twitter now, got her on Twitter. My brothers are on Twitter. A bunch of other Zinch people are on Twitter. At David Blake, he's here. Just wanted to give a shout out to him. He's a Zinch guy. And so it's just a wonderful place to have fun, to communicate with your friends. It is the simplest, 
uh, publishing platform out there. It's mobile, it's real time, it's awesome. That's all I have to say. Cool.